I tell you what, that is one of my most favorite scenic routes here in the Pacific Northwest. The mighty Sin Lahican Valley. And it's a hidden jewel up here in the Okanagan region of North Central Washington. There's no major roads or highways that pass through here. It's just a winding dirt road through the bottom of this valley. And every time I drive through here, I just feel like I'm on a different planet somewhere. It's truly, truly a special treat and not a lot of people really seem to know about it. So it stays nice and tucked away, hidden back here in the forest, just the way that it should be. But it's beautiful. That's one thing I love about these Fjall Raven pants and the Vita Pros. They've got spots in the knees built in for slipping in knee pads. And when you're out here camping, especially when you're filming, you spend a lot of time doing things on your knees. Even when it comes to breaking firewood over your knee, to have these built in knee pads right here in these pants has been an awesome freaking lifesaver for everything that I do here around camp and filming, like I said. It's definitely sweltering out here today. It's pretty warm and still a little bit humid because it's been a wet spring. It's been about 90 degrees Fahrenheit today and uh, fairly humid, so definitely sweating. But that evening is starting to set in, it's starting to cool off, which is gonna be perfect for having a campfire here tonight. So the nice thing about camping out here in eastern Washington is the climate is a lot drier. Therefore finding dry tender for your fire is a lot easier to do. What I like to do is come out underneath the big tall ponderosa pines for a couple different reasons. A, all the pine needles that fall here are typically extremely dry and brittle, makes great tender for starting that initial fire. And then all of these pine cones that gather here as well help get that fire going to the next level. Also, here underneath the tree, things are a lot drier. If there's been recent rain or anything like that, typically you can find the drier, crispier stuff right here directly under the tree because it's protected more from the weather.
new addition to van life, a new knife. It's actually an SE5 survival knife. Full tang blade, micarta handles. It's got a nice point here on the end of it. I know a lot of you guys have been seeing me use the Schrade SCH F9. That was my first knife that I bought about a year ago. And that was a great starter knife for me. I learned a lot of things. It taught me how useful a survival knife can actually be. But I've since picked up this SE here a couple months ago and this is really my first trip out using it. And this thing is just one hell of a badass skookum knife. I actually really love it and with the micarta handles it just feels nice and solid in the hand. So my new favorite survival knife. I wear it right here on my hip and that's the cool thing. It comes with a really nice plastic heavy duty clip and it sits nicely on my hip. So this thing's with me quite a bit. So for today's cooking, we're gonna be using the eight inch Dutch oven that we're gonna hang off of the lodge tripod here. And I like the little eight inch Dutch oven because it's great for more personalized size meals. I find that if I cook with the bigger one, which a lot of times I do need the bigger one, but when I cook with that one, I cook a lot more food. So with this one, this helps me kind of proportion it more to something that would be for myself. So today, eight inch Dutch oven.
What a freaking gorgeous place to spend a gorgeous evening in. I still can't even get over that drive. That drive is literally one of a kind. It actually gives me goosebumps. I've got like major goosebumps right now. Got the van set up here. Dinner is cooking right here over the fire pit on the Dutch oven. And we've got this scene unfolding here behind us. Look at this. Right there's the rest of the Sin Lahican Valley. That's where we came in here this afternoon. And we're just chilling. Got a great view of this pond here. Lots of wildlife. And we're just cooking up a good meal and enjoying some van life. I love my winter camping, but it's pretty hard to beat this, this right here because I'm outside in a t-shirt. I'm actually sweating. It's just relaxing. I love this right now. Super stoked you guys are on board to be able to enjoy this with me. One of a kind. One of a kind.
this right here is a gourmet meal for a gourmet view. How, how does it get any better than this right now? The Sinlahican Valley of North Central Washington. A great cooked meal over a campfire and some van life to boot. This is it guys. This is it. This is where it all happens in moments like this. I love the simplicity of this meal. It was super easy to make. Some fried polenta, Italian sausage, onion, garlic, and some tomato sauce to go over the top of it. A little bit of cheese and a salad. This right here, it's so delicious. Mm. What a way to finish off a trip like that. The dirt roads were epic. The scenery was epic. The journey was over the top. And then to finish it all off with a view like this, a fire and a good meal. That's what backcountry van life is all about. I feel like we definitely fulfilled that today. I'm pretty stoked to see what adventures tomorrow brings. Good morning guys. I had a really, really good night's sleep in the van out here in the valley. I had the top popped. All the canvas sides were open so it was like being in a tent and I slept really good. Had probably the best camp spot in the whole entire valley right up here overlooking this pond. The van is all packed up. I'm gonna head north into Loomis and over to Tenasket and we're gonna see what other adventure arises from there. If you guys have made it this far in the video, please consider subscribing. And if you do, don't forget to hit the little bell next to the subscribe button because that's what's going to notify you anytime videos like this are uploaded. 
And for those of you subscribers that have been with me for a while now, I certainly do appreciate you guys. Don't forget to hit the like button, share it with the friends you think might be interested in stuff like this. And if you got any questions or comments, make sure and leave them in the comment section down below. Alright guys, I'm out of here. Peace out. Keep on trucking.